how this student was able to create this table of contents, it's pretty awesome because you can go directly to different steps of the project. So this is absolutely amazing. If you can figure out how to do this, awesome, and then teach me. This is an awesome breakdown. So they have, so when I click on like distribution, they've got the information and they've got their comments. It would have been nice if that was a little bit more in there, but that's okay. Everything is here. It would have been nice to be like right about there or something. Um, as you, as you see, when I click through, all the information is right here. And that's what I want you to do is make it presentation ready so that all I have to do is just click and see what you have for responses, see what you have for comments. Remember, each tab is supposed to have some form of comment, just indicating what was found on that tab. It goes all the way through and it's pretty well labeled. I know exactly what I'm looking at. And that's what you need to do this week is make it look presentable. So center the screen properly, have it labeled, have the comments, and look, here are the results. So uh, this is what we did last week. Got the annual averages, but we have a breakdown by um, plant and they've got their insights. They've got it labeled, everything's good, all the way down to the calculation for um, requested investment, and I had done that as well last week's video. So that's what I expect for the Excel. If I have to click on a, on a tab for yours and search around for an answer, you'll, lose, you'll be losing points. So the presentation is very important. I will be clicking on cells from time to time to make sure that you actually used equations and didn't just write down, and just didn't type in a number um, based on the videos. So if anybody did that, yeah, you're gonna get caught. Uh, I want to see equations to make sure you knew what you're doing. Okay, so that's the Excel. So you can go ahead and look at the example of what they did. It's it's awesome. It's perfect. Hopefully you can get yours in presentation um, status. So let's look at these examples. It's from last semester. So I really like what this student did is they have a cover in which they actually, it, it demonstrates what the industry is or the company. Again, this is from last semester, so it's theirs. And um, got to have an intro tab, kind of explain to me what the analysis was all about. The scope of it so it kind of talked about this the descriptive and they have pictures this is so good uh, here's the information about the outliers and why they were removed again great job the safety program performance the priority by class code look at the, how this is so this is presented very well and this is what I want you to do is impress me you know make it visual um, really attempt to be delivering a message and not just reporting this is what was found explain it and this student did a very good job and we get to the forecasts again this is really well done and the final results tables and the requestment for funds and what they're going to do with it great job excellent job okay there's one of them the second is give me one second is this number two? Yeah, this is number two. So um, this student also did a very, very good job. Let me just kind of, can't remember if there was actual, um, so she has actually her script down here if you want to take a look at that. Um, so it's, it doesn't have, it's not as visually pleasing as the last one, but still a very good job. Um, she provided a lot of pictures. Uh, the description down below is probably the most valuable to you as you're preparing. Yeah, she provided all the results. She had to fly through this, by the way. These are a lot of slides. Um, looks like she took some of these out from the presentation because she timed herself. And then she got to the final investment and what she plans to do with that investment. So excellent job, excellent job. The last example Again, these are a little bit different. So again, you know, probably not as visually pleasing as that first one, but this one provided a very basic layout of what was expected. There's a lot of text here. That, not, I'm sorry, not a lot of text. There was a lot of explanation that she had, basically demonstrating to me she knew what she was doing. 
just you know organize it in a different way. Um, got right to the results. I, I'd, I'd prefer a little bit more setup, but um, the way she was actually able to handle it. I mean, look at she's even showing directions and things like that. I thought that was cool. So she kind of explained the overall and then broke down to key findings. I think she did a great job and then really got into the recommendations. So she really focused on um, uh, the message itself and not just reporting what the results were. She let the results kind of lead up to here are the recommendations. So I think she did a fantastic job too. Um, all three of the PowerPoints, it's not really the PowerPoint, but it's how it was presented. All three of them received a perfect score. That's why I provided them to you. So that is basically everything I wanted to cover in this really short video. Is that here is an, an amazing example of Excel. Here are three excellent examples of the presentation that you should be giving. Uh, but I'm going to let you use what we use the data set that we um, analyzed for this class and try and follow these great examples. Um, all of these, perfect. These are perfect representations. So do the best you can. Again, it's the presentation is very, very important. So exp you know, providing specific comments for each tab on the Excel, um, highlighting or you know, encapsulating in a, in a colored box the things you want my eye to be directed to, um, PowerPoint slides that are visually pleasing and really establish what you're trying to tell me you know again you're trying to convince management to invest into safety you're not just saying here's what the data results are okay so make sure there is a a, a message that comes out of what you're trying to do um, i will be sending everybody a um an, a, an email through your uww email for the webex on thursday uh, we have a former student who's going to be presenting with her boss. So um, I'm waiting for that. That'll come out really soon. Otherwise, that's everything for this week. Um, again, I'll be at the Wisconsin Safety Council Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can email me, but I won't really be able to get back to you till Thursday. Um, but we could talk on Friday or Saturday, or whatever you need. Uh, but that's basically it. And then week 14, uh, we will be... Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, we're doing presentations. Yeah, so sign up. We're doing presentations on the 25th. And then we've got the ASSP meeting on that Thursday. So that really is the next two weeks <laughs> in this very, very short video. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, you should have everything you need now to complete this project. And um, I look forward to seeing what your results are. Good luck, everybody.